สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today here on NBT World. Thailand will host the ASEAN Cultural Year from July to August and push for fourth ASEAN Social and Cultural Centers in Thailand. Cultural Minister Vira Rod p u t a n a r a t as chairman of the ASEAN Social Cultural Community (ASCC) Council. Said following the 21st meeting of the ASEAN Social Cultural Community (ASCC) Council, that the meeting has extended full support to Thailand's priorities for the ASCC pillar. These pillars include promoting future-oriented action for human security, promoting people-to-people -people connectivity and partnerships, and promoting socio-cultural sustainability in the region. Mr. Vira. So the ASEAN nations welcome Thailand's efforts in establishing seven ASEAN centers, including the ASEAN Center for Sustainability, Development Studies, and Dialogue. During its chairmanship, among the centers, four are ASCC-related centers, which will be established or developed, namely the ASEAN Center for Active Aging and Innovation (ACAI), ASEAN Cultural Center. The ASEAN Training Center for Social Work and Social Welfare (ATCSW), and also the setting up of the Disaster Emergency Logistics Systems and ASEAN Delta Satellite Warehouse. East Timor is set to become the world's first country to recycle all its plastic waste. In a region where seas are awash with trash. East Timor is set to become the world's first country to recycle all its plastic waste after it teamed up with Australian researchers on Friday to build a revolutionary recycling plant. The $40 million plant will ensure that no plastic, once used in the Southeast Asian nation, will become waste. What would instead be turned into new products? Daly said it has signed a memorandum of understanding with Australia's Mura Technology to establish a non-profit called Respec that will run the plastic recycling plant expected to launch by the end of 2020. This is a small country where we can make a statement, making the whole country the first to be plastic neutral in the region, where there is a l a r g e s t pollution of marine life. Said Thomas m a r s h a m a y o m the co-inventor of the recycling technology to be used in the new plant. Plastic, if you don't dispose it well, is a terrible thing. But if you can dispose of it well, it's a great thing. m a r s h a m a y o m told the Thomson Reuters Foundation by phone. In many parts of Asia, fast-growing economies and populations coupled with huge coastlines and densely populated cities. A f i l l to local seas and trash and plastic waste, garbage collection services and infrastructure have largely failed to keep pace with the rapid development. More than 80 million tons of plastics are dumped in the world's ocean each year. Scientists say about a truckload per minute. China, Indonesia, Vietnam, the Philippines, and Thailand are among the top culprits. Waste experts say. Since Thailand and Timor Leste established diplomatic relations on the 20th May 2002, both countries have enjoyed close and cordial relations, spurred in part by Thailand's development democracy, though technical cooperation under the Thailand International Development Cooperation Agency. Next break, we will have a special guest from Timor Leste who will tell us about the current bilateral cooperation between Thailand and Timor Leste. Coming back after a short break. NBT World, an English language television channel in Thailand. Authoritative sources for all government information. High standard content that's reliable and accurate across every platform. Our mission is to reflect the vision of Thailand. Keep up to date through our application or website by searching for NBT World. NBT World, a vision of Thailand.
Welcome back to Thailand Today here on NBT World. Today our program has a great pleasure to have Your Excellency Mr. Babu, he the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation of Timor Leste in our studio to tell us about the current bilateral cooperation between Thailand and Timor Leste. Sarika. Sarika. Well, welcome to Thailand Today program, sir. It's a pleasure. Well, so nice to have you here. So you. tell me, is it your first time in Thailand? This is um, my third time um, to Thailand. Uh, but let me just say swadika to okay. my, uh, the respectful audience. Yeah. And it's always been uh, good to actually be back in Thailand. Okay. Thailand. All right, sir. So you said three times already. So what about uh, tourists or something? Uh, oh. Well, uh, I was initially here uh, in my capacity as an academic. Uh -huh. And then I came back here as the Minister of um, Justice uh, to attend um, a meeting with the ASCAP. And now I'm back here as the Minister of Foreign Affairs of my country. It's oh, a pleasure. Oh, you can see now <laughs> the board has become bigger and bigger. Anyway, Thank so, you. so what, what is the primary purpose of this visit this time, sir? Well, the primary uh, purpose of um, visit this time is uh, twofold. Mm -hmm. One is to, um, in the context of a working um, uh, visit uh, uh, on a bilateral basis, mm -hmm. Uh, to my homologue um, or my counterpart, mm -hmm. uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, of Thailand. Mm -hmm. But the second thing, also in the capacity as the head of delegation of Timor Leste to attend the 75th um, ESCAP ah. meeting. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, so um, I've uh, been uh, quite busy in the last two days mm -hmm. uh, in the meetings, but also had a chance to uh, do the working meeting. Thailand and uh, Timor Leste has been. Well, friends since the, from the beginning, since the, uh, the time of uh, uh, your country the independence. So uh, until now, what is the, how how much we we are still so so close to each other? Uh, first of all, um, let me um, appreciate uh, the help that uh, uh, Thailand has extended to Timor Leste uh, when it attained its, in its independence mm -hmm. in 1999 by sending uh, the Thai armed forces. Mm -hmm. Uh, together with the international mm. peacekeeping force mm. to keep uh, peace in Timor Leste in 1999, mm. and also uh, following uh, the vote of referendum in 1999. <clears throat> then, uh, uh, from then on, I think we started uh, the established our uh, bilateral relations, and a number of uh, areas of cooperation have been identified, mm -hmm. uh, be it in education, mm -hmm. uh, health tourism, mm. uh, agriculture, mm. <clears throat> and also um, defense and security to some extent. Uh, that the last uh, part of it, uh, um, or the last uh, element of this cooperation in defense and security actually was an extension of the previous mission that uh, mm. the, the Thai military. And I'm very um, proud to, uh, to also inform you that uh, yesterday I met uh, the new designated um, House of Speaker uh, yes, uh, who was uh, two times prime minister, and uh, the Thai forces actually were sent in 1999 in one of the period that uh, His Excellency, um, the, 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 the uh, yeah. prime minister at that time, uh, uh, actually was uh, very, uh, very um, involved. And, and I, I must thank him and congratulate him mm. um, <coughs> for that. <coughs> Unbelievable, right? It when is. you come back, <laughs> he's become the, the chairman of the house already. That's yeah, true. Interesting. Okay, so uh, since our Thai people, all foreign people, our audience who in the 177 countries were well, men, I'd like to know a little bit about the people and the way of life and a little bit of uh, the molesting people. So normally, uh, people what? People doing what kind of uh, a career or what do you have? For living. Okay, cultural to what? Uh, well, uh, Timor Leste is located in Southeast Asia. It is uh, located share an island, or, which is n known as the island of Timor, with uh, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It is located uh, 400 miles um, away from the northern part of Australia. Mm -hmm. So, um, even before independence, Timor Leste was, uh, which was part of Indonesia at that time, mm -hmm. was already a member of the ASEAN mm -hmm. community. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Timor Leste. Um, is um, a country that was um, colonized by the Portuguese for 500 years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by the Indonesians for uh, 24 years, mm -hmm. and uh, finally uh, 
got independence in yeah. 2002 after a vote of referendum in 1999. Yeah. Uh, today it has about 1.2 million uh, inhabitants, yeah. um, according to census 2015. <coughs> and uh, the country um, relies mainly uh, on the natural resources uh, for its um, uh, economic uh, development. Uh, but also it has some um, agricultural product, mainly coffee, which has been exported oh. throughout the world, mm. um, and also uh, some other agricultural products <coughs> mm. that is now being developed. Mm. Uh, economically, Timor-Leste um, is uh, considered as an uh, underdeveloped country, mm. and we have um, begun to launch a national strategic development plan mm. that is aligned with the strategic development objectives of the UN mm -hmm. and we and from 2011 to 2030 and we aim to um, become a middle income country by 2030 mm -hmm. uh, so we we, uh, we we have petroleum we have uh, yes you are rich we have <laughs> gas <laughs> <laughs> we have gas mm -hmm. we have um, tourism mm -hmm. we have a very good agriculture uh, many and many Timorese now actually going out to study and work abroad and in fact and uh, with, even though with only um, a few years uh, after independence, mm. uh, foreign remittance has constituted the second largest income of the country after oil and gas. Oh, okay. So our people are contributing a lot. Uh -huh. so, uh, so the country uh, is now, uh, uh, apart from, uh, as I said, apart from this part of the Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. it's a country that uh, has uh, developed in terms of democracy, human rights, and also um, economy. Uh, I think we um, we are um, in terms of economic growth. We are even ahead of some members of ASEAN. Mm. <coughs> when you already touch, but not Thailand, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when you already touch about tourism. Thank you. I'm sure people like to hear that. If they, for those who haven't been there, what is the best place and the place that is a must to visit? Generally, uh, tourism uh, is, is only a new sector to be developed. But we are directing it uh, more towards uh, community tourism and ecotourism. Yeah. We, um, I must stress that uh, at, this, at this stage, we do, don't have um, many infrastructure in place yet. But we have people to have place to live mm -hmm. <coughs> comfort, comfortably, to also receive guests, uh, tourists. Mm -hmm. And 70% uh, of the country is mountainous. Because of its mountain uh, topography, <coughs> It actually um, is very interesting uh, and has an interesting um, landscape where people can go and, uh, uh, you know, have a good sightseeing. Uh -huh. And also, uh, it's a tropical country. Yeah. It's uh, hot all the time. Mm. And, uh, it, it, uh, and you can go to many, many places you wish. Mm, interesting, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm. You did mention about your, uh, well, a little bit on the underdeveloped country. But before I forget, I should mention this, that uh, we came to know that Timor-Leste is set uh, to become the world's first country to recycle all plastic waste. Yeah, I have to uh, congratulate with this. This is, a, this, is, this is even developed country also cannot solve the problem. It's very interesting. Uh, mm. I think uh, over two months ago, uh, we launched a the first um, national campaign mm. to eliminate, uh, oh, well, at least to reduce the level of uh, uh, <coughs> plastic waste. Mm -hmm. uh, and the government has launched it, uh, started starting initially from the public um, spheres and also mm -hmm. public buildings. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> we also uh, have decided to work with uh, an international um, an Australian company that actually aims to recycle, not only recycling, but also reducing uh, the amount to a minimum level. Mm. Uh, I think as in many places in Thailand as well, we think it is very difficult to avoid plastic. Mm. Uh, plastic is still there. Mm. It is still uh, once one of the means of, um, uh, you know, our, our, <coughs> our lives. Um, mm. Mm. So um, we, 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 we are tipped to be <coughs> the first country mm. to really uh, come to terms with what many uh, dub as uh, plastic-free country, but we would prefer to use uh, plastic-neutral mm. country. Mm. 
Is that interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> Thailand also have a headache with this. <laughs> is that right? We cannot solve the problem yet. So, Your Excellency, so what is the bilateral cooperation between Thailand and uh, Peter Morales? As oh, I you mentioned a little bit on that. <coughs> yes. Yeah, I think I've said in the beginning that mm -hmm. as early as uh, 2003 or four, mm -hmm. we um, started our bilateral cooperation mm -hmm. and relations and cooperation, mm -hmm. and a number of areas mm -hmm. were identified, including. Uh, defense and security, mm -hmm. education, education yes. uh, agriculture, uh -huh. and uh, uh, I think some areas um, of um, human capacity development has uh -huh. to do with tourism and so on. Uh -huh. A number of Timorese students have studied in Thailand, and uh -huh. they are still here. Uh -huh. uh, and then we will continue this program uh, in the future. In terms of defense and security, cooperation between our armed forces and the police mm. continues. Mm. Uh, we have this tradition and we honor very much this tradition. Mm. In terms of uh, agriculture, we also have <coughs> a cooperation where uh, ma many Timorese actually uh, were sent to Thailand to study. The Rohin project? Uh, there are different projects, uh, particularly the agriculture one. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so it has to do with, uh, I think, uh, agriculture innovation and so on. Mm. And as you know, that 90%, 70% of our uh, population um, live in rural areas, and most of them are farmers. So agriculture is still uh, the one, of the range, one of the biggest um, source of income, uh -huh. but still very subsistence. Mm -hmm. The biggest um, the biggest one that actually is, uh, is for export uh -huh. is um, is a coffee, is coffee. Oh, so you talk about coffee. Yeah, yeah. and my oh, parents and my grandparents are coffee farmers. Uh -huh. So I'm the son of a farmer. Tasty, really, <laughs> I promise it's really Thank good. Thank you. So, how about the trade and investment? Is there any investment from Thai side over there? Trade, uh, in terms of trade and investment, I had a discussion with um, the, uh, the Thai side uh, mm. a couple of um, days ago, and also uh, when I met Minister Don, mm. His Excellency said that we need to increase our cooperation mm. uh, from, um, uh, from um, uh, mere assistance to mm. uh, a real cooperation. And, mm. and, and, that's, and uh, sorry, and then it was the discussion was uh, went further when I met the, His mm. Excellency, mm -hmm. the new uh, Speaker of the House, the President of the As General Assembly, mm -hmm. um, where, where um, we discussed about the possibility of um, having uh, Thai uh, private sector involved in uh, the infrastructure development in Timor Leste. And I think I would encourage them to go. Since we um, have, uh, you know, companies in, from China, from Indonesia, from the Philippines, and even Japan mm -hmm. <coughs> already operating there. Okay. So the climate of business, the climate of commerce uh, is very promising. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are now embarking on a uh, national infrastructure development. Uh, <coughs> so we really, of course, need um, our um, partners from outside, including Thai companies, and I will encourage very much uh, on back. And I believe some restaurants also there. Oh yes, restaurant. of course. Yeah. Uh, there are a number of uh, Thai restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, there are Bangkok restaurants. There are, uh, of course, uh, Pattaya restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, the name of the river here. Mm -hmm. uh, Japaya, Japaya. Uh, Japaya. Uh, Japaya. Restaurant. So all the Thai food is also a color the the, 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 our national cuisine at the moment, and a lot of people uh, who actually come from abroad mm -hmm. will uh, go to China, uh, the, the Thai restaurants. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and I have all these friends coming over from Indonesia who mm -hmm. um, think that uh, they, they, they would need to have Thai restaurants in their country as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shows, <coughs> that yeah. shows that, you, that there must be some, because uh, the Morris is quite far away, but uh, still, they, they see the, the prosperity there. Oh yeah, there, there are lots of prospects and, and uh, in terms of economic development. And we are now working on, mm -hmm. a, as I say, embarking on a, the mm -hmm. development of our infrastructure. We're building um, two, already two, two uh, big airports with international standards. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a, another a port is now being built with international standards. Mm -hmm. And uh, we expect that um, in a couple of years' time, Timor-Leste can be a hub, mm -hmm. a hub of mm -hmm. the Asian Pacific. Mm -hmm. They don't, so... Um, yeah, why we, not? Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, um, Timor Leste, uh, the island of Timor is actually is located in a trench, um, a strait, uh, which um, the marine experts call as the uh, the, the the fish, the tuna highway. It comes from uh, wow. uh, the uh, the Indian Ocean, uh, or not the Ocean, the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic. Okay. 
to, uh, so, uh, to come from Indonesia and so on to, um, to, 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 to the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. As you see, um, if you have lots of, um, if, if you, um, according to um, the, the <coughs> marine experts, mm -hmm. uh, if tuna actually goes around the world, mm -hmm. uh, it breeds one of the breeding places in Bermuda. In <coughs> but then when they come, when they arrive at the Strait of Timor, mm -hmm. the Strait of uh, Maubara, <coughs> which is which which is uh, has a depth of three thousand meters. Wow! It also that breeds there. Mm. So who can control that area can also control the world, as people say. Mm. Before we can to, uh, to the to close <coughs> our first part, how about what kind of ex export that you wanted from Thailand and, and Thailand wanted from you? Commodities, uh, goods, and commodities. Uh, I think in terms of good communities, agriculture product, particular organic and primary mm. products. Ah. Of course, we, we also want to have ours develop in the future and get um, the exported to Taiwan as, uh, Thailand as well. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> in addition to that, I think some merchandise um, things that we haven't actually been able to produce, particularly from elect in electronics. Mm. And I understand that uh, a lot of uh, Thai uh, companies who are um, involved with uh, the solar solar, so, mm, solar um, um, system, si yeah, solar uh, electronic system. Mm. I also been expanding to Timor Leste, and, and I hope uh, you know we, we could have this trade uh, in a much more active manner, and making sure that we have Timor Leste have access all, to all these goods, and that would be, I think, uh, one of the things that we're looking at. Okay, <coughs> we're going to come back for uh, Asian Asian membership. Then. Thank you. So we are coming back to the end of the first part of our interview. So we'll discuss further about Timor Leste's plan to become Asian membership. Please stay tuned. In 2019, Thailand is ready for ASEAN chairmanship, working together and building solidarity to increase competitiveness and innovation with the people at the center. All sectors are ready to promote unity of the ASEAN community, and BT World is excited to be a full supporter of the Thai ASEAN chairmanship. Keep up to date on ASEAN 2019 movement with NBT World. section by <coughs> present my condolences to the people of Thailand, yeah, Thai, Thailand uh, for the passing of a previous assistant mm. advisor to the Prime Minister. Mm. Um, uh, Timor-Leste um, has applied to be a member of uh, Southeast Asian uh, countries in 2011. Mm -hmm. It has been eight years. Eight years. And we've been waiting and we still continue to wait. Um, we've been um, getting the support of um, almost all countries <coughs> of um, ASEAN, and mm -hmm. Thailand is one of them, and we appreciate and we would like to thank you very, thank you very much for uh, this help and this attention. Uh, <coughs> I understand that there is still uh, reservations from one or two countries, uh, particularly um, with regard to uh, uh, our membership, but we <coughs> can assure that uh, Timor-Leste is ready to become a member of ASEAN. Mm -hmm. Timor-Leste um, has um, the available uh, infrastructure and resources mm -hmm. to cope with uh, whatever um, ASEAN requires. Mm -hmm. We will not be a burden to ASEAN. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure that sure. we commit to whatever political mm -hmm. philosophy that ASEAN adopts. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, we have uh, shown this um, uh, willingness through <coughs> the establishment of mm -hmm. the embassy of Timor-Leste in all ASEAN countries. Mm -hmm with a full-fledged and plenipotentiary ambassadors. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we have attended almost all meetings that ASEAN mm -hmm. uh, coordinates when, whenever we are invited. Yes, 
uh, and we've also <coughs> participating in the international uh, events, both at multilateral, multilateral and bilateral um, forums, supporting each single member of ASEAN. Uh, we, we are really committed. We uh, have made this known to everyone, including um, our friends in the United, Nation, United States, United Nations, um, um, in Europe, and so on, that we um, want to be a member of ASEAN. <coughs> and uh, let me assure uh, the people of Thailand, and also assure um, my uh, <coughs> friends in the whole 10 countries of ASEAN that this remains a priority of Timor-Leste. We, uh, we would um, appreciate if this um, application uh, get a positive response, mm -hmm. and please um, be sure that Timor-Leste will um, comply with whatever ASEAN wants to, as a member. As for Thailand, uh, how could Thailand prepare to help uh, Timor-Leste prepare to get into the membership? I think um, a number of um, uh, um, uh, elements um, <coughs> that actually have been put forward, forward, particularly in terms of cooperation and training of capacity building, mm -hmm. Uh, and also um, institutional strengthening have been actually done by both countries. <coughs> uh, Thailand has an embassy in Timor-Leste with an ambassador, very active. We uh, work together very, very, very well. Uh, so does Timor-Leste has an ambassador here uh, that is very active in all these forums. We uh, are committed uh, that uh, you know we can um, be sure a contributor, a good contrib contributor to, to ASEAN will never become member. And uh, we understand that. Um, this time around, uh, Thailand is uh, the hitting, or is the leadership, is in the leadership of ASEAN. <coughs> we understand that steps are being taken, and in September we will receive uh, a team from the ASEAN Secretariat, head by the Permanent Secretary, uh, who was a Thai, uh, and uh, Madame, um, I forgot the name, but Madame, uh, the, she will be hitting uh, the team uh, of 11, 10 countries, mm -hmm. but we're going to Timor Leste to do an assessment on three specific pillars. Okay. One is on uh, political um, defense and security, including okay. justice and so uh, on. The second uh, will be on um, economic affairs, and okay. uh, the third will be on social and cultural. Oh. Oh, okay. So Timor, Timor Leste um, has been working very hard, and we um, uh, are now um, operating under um, the umbrella of uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, coordinating um, uh, uh, team. Uh, named uh, Timor Leste Asian Mobilization Program, mm. <coughs> Timor Leste ASEAN Mobilization mm. Program, where all ministries are involved. Mm. All ministries actually are preparing themselves to be <coughs> uh, to participate whenever Timor Leste is, can accept to ASEAN. And uh, this uh, is known in Timor Leste not only as a foreign minister mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. but as a whole government approach, a whole state approach. Mm -hmm. So we. Uh, we are very serious, um, uh, and I can assure um, yeah, you and the people of um, the countries in ASEAN that Timor Leste will um, or is ready to become um, an eleventh member of Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Of course, because um, <coughs> actually Timor Leste has a lot to offer. You, know, you have to use them, as you said, because there's something which is new, something which is. Um, people to, to try and see. So all these um, in how the uh, accession to ASEAN uh, would uh, benefit um, tourism, investment, in terms of that? Well, this is a country of um, uh, 600,000 uh, million people, 600 million people. <coughs> of course, it's a huge market. Uh, by becoming a member team or less, will have uh, lots of uh, benefits in terms of accession to the country, mm -hmm. and also in terms of export and import. Mm -hmm. um, but also, um, we have uh, natural resources, particularly um, oil and gas. <coughs> mm -hmm. We have a new oil field, field go, um, called the Greater Sunrise, that's a steep to be um, uh, uh, <coughs> 50 billion worth of um, um, of, of well that uh, will um, with a life um, uh, with a life of, of, of 50 years. So I think you know this will be a big contribution because you know by becoming a member of ASEAN. Not only Timor Leste will benefit, but the rest of the ASEAN will also benefit by tapping into this, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> you know, uh, yeah. uh, the resource uh, that uh, we have um, uh, in Timor Leste, mm -hmm. and we, we are planning to we have the Timor Leste government owns 56 percent of the the um, uh, how do you call it, interest, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, the, we are planning to um, 
actually channeled um, a pipeline mm. of uh, mm -hmm. exploration uh, to um, onshore. Uh, and of course, that will uh, stimulate the economy and will also, mm -hmm. um, um, I think, provide uh, lots of jobs, okay. uh, lots of um, uh, job opportunities, uh, and uh, lots of um, the, uh, and, you know, chances for the economic, economic development, not mm -hmm. only at the high level, but also at the um, community level. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, we welcome very much all our friends from ASEAN uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to be part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <clears throat> so there are uh, a lot to offer. Um, of course, um, tourism is one of them that mm -hmm. we could benefit. Uh, we have a, um, <coughs> also a, a landscape that is very, very, very much uh, of interest to many. You have uh, to go afar from the city, <coughs> or what? The, the landscape you can see. Oh, uh, well, be it is. It, I mean, the, but how, 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 can, how can people go there? Well, uh, we, uh, well yeah, there, are, there are roads that actually connected to all municipalities in Timor Leste. Uh, even and the plane, and how about the aircraft? Ah, if you, I mean, at the moment we have uh, <coughs> a direct flight from Singapore, uh -huh. which is only three hours and a half. So Bangkok, Singapore. Then go Singapore, Singapore. Singapore to uh, now we are working Delhi. Delhi. Now we are working to see if we can have a direct flight from Bangkok to, yeah. to Delhi. Why not? Yeah, <coughs> and then Delhi, um, one of the cities Where in Australia. Uh. Yeah. So uh, our our Ministry of Transportation and Communication is exploring that at the moment. Mm -hmm. We are also exploring a uh, direct flight from Kuala Lumpur. To Delhi and then mm -hmm. to Sydney, for example. Mm -hmm. Also from um, uh, from Guangzhou in China, China yeah. uh, to Delhi and Delhi to Melbourne or, or Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the da daily flights to Darwin oh. and uh, uh, daily flights, three planes, uh, three flights per day to Bali, um, mm -hmm. Indonesia. Uh, so uh, the connectivity um, is one of the attention is one of the issues that actually been explored by the government, and um, we we we, mm -hmm. uh, we think you know Timor Leste is not far from ASEAN. It's very close. In fact, it take only probably uh, one or two hours uh, once we have the flight planes operating from the, from Delhi to uh, Bandar Seri Begawan. Mm, to, uh, <coughs> Bray. Oh, that, that's, that's the way. Right. So I think uh, you have to be with a lot of <coughs> brainstorming. I think can think can be done very easily because uh, <laughs> that they have almost everything. You know? Yes. And you talk about the the oil fields uh, that are being uh, ex exploration and also. To, Drilling it or refine it already, or uh, okay, we've been saying that because you have a lot, but keep it, you still not use it. There yeah. are two um, areas of um, exploration one is uh, what is being explored right now, which um, we call um, it's, uh, it's located under the jurisdiction of Timor Leste, but we developed it jointly with Indonesia, oh, uh -huh. sorry, with Australia, oh, with Australia, uh -huh. with Australia. There are a few um, <coughs> um, wells that actually have been explored. Some smaller ones have not, but only the it, well, it's now uh, going to end probably in five or six years' time. But uh, it's only the petroleum. We haven't explored the gas yet. And then the other one that I mentioned to you is another call, um, the Greater Sunrise Oil Field. Uh, it is predicted to have um, uh, 70 billion uh, cubic um, of um, oil and gas mm. worth 50 billion dollars mm. and mm. with a life of the project mm. for 50 years. Mm. So I think uh, uh, we have much to do down the line. Uh, I think um, countries, every single country of ASEAN can also participate in the future. Mm. So instead of uh, you know, opening, opening up to people from other um, continents to come, why not uh, ASEAN? Mm. <coughs> so we think uh, this is an issue that we could um, you know, offer. Uh, and so Timor Leste will not be a burden to ASEAN if it becomes mm. member, but it will become one of the contributors. What about the Etymologists they can invest in, <coughs> in Thailand or in the EEC? Or our, at the moment, our private sector is still um, not uh, as developed as uh, what you have in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some uh, Timorese who are now slowly expanding, <coughs> but uh, to some parts of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. uh, we, but we expect them to actually see more mm -hmm. um, Opportunities in other countries, particularly in Singapore, in Malaysia, in Thailand, and Philippines, including um, Brunei. So we, we, we but, uh, but also it comes with time uh, that many Timorese are now actually uh, um, uh, working outside the country, mm -hmm. uh, acquiring knowledge mm -hmm. and expertise, and I'm sure they will uh, eventually go to these uh, mm -hmm. countries to invest. Uh, <clears throat> but also a uh, lot of Timorese who are now studying abroad, not only in Indonesia, in mm. ASEAN countries, but also in Europe, in the United States, in Australia, 
So once all this number of people uh, mm. going back or returning yeah. to Timor Leste, I'm sure there will be a source of all different development scenarios uh, that Timor Leste could offer. This is a, a full, you know, sighted, the far sighted for people to have a look. Because sure. Even some of them educate in Thailand also. Yes, yes. So there are some students of. Uh, there are Timor a number of Timorese students in Thailand. Some actually are completing their studies by the end of the year. Uh, but I, I hope that uh, there will be more coming to study in... Um, but may they come out like this to study this 31? Agriculture? They, uh, they take well, up the, what kind of course? Uh, different types, of various types of courses. Uh -huh. Some in social studies, some in, uh, in the, you know, agriculture, some in the engineering sector, some in, some in the economic sector. They all actually um, go and have a, a well-employed back home. Uh, so you could see, um, and, and I remember that... Uh, I have uh, some friends who actually started here uh, at Chunlangkorn University. Uh -huh. uh, I think uh, an university that actually have taught um, English in all in all of their okay. major subjects. Mm -hmm. So um, and they all actually went home and spoke very highly of the education in Thailand, uh, mm -hmm. which I think uh, will be a source of many Timorese to come. And the, the Timorese government, you know, um, have been benefited a lot from. Uh, um, from, from scholarship in, in, uh, you know, from Thailand, mm, but yeah. also we, we uh, understand that we are working on having a share or probably a fully funded scholarship from Timor Leste. Interesting. I have a <coughs> friends from um, working in, in a tour or tourism, so they still want me to ask you about the accommodation. If they arrange a bigger group of people to go there for tourism accommodation, infrastructure, how ready you all are? Well, uh, at the moment, um, uh, there are a number of hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, not a lot like what you might find in Bangkok, mm. uh, but there are uh, sufficient um, uh, hotels uh, uh, with um, four stars mm, uh, level, uh, four stars level, um, yeah. uh, and also some other um, accommodation um, and the lodges that actually are available in, in Timor Leste. And we've had, uh, we we've been um, uh, able to um, uh, receive um, for a, a, a big number of foreign dignitaries for conferences. For international conferences, you have done it before. Yeah, we've done. So it. We oh. we were we were the president. Uh, we were at the presidency of the Portuguese speaking countries for two years. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah, yes. we um, have people coming from Europe, from um, um, uh, Africa, mm. uh, ex former uh, former um, colonies of Portuguese, and also we've uh, also um, mm -hmm. we we pioneered the establishment of a small. Uh, the small G7 Plus. It G7 was Plus. G7 Plus. But now the number is 20. And uh -huh. G7 Plus uh -huh. uh, advocates the co a fragile to fragile uh, cooperation. Countries that actually have only come from the post conflict um, situation uh -huh. <coughs> and to uh, organize themselves and mm. peer. And they are now seeking uh, membership with, uh, with the, uh, membership, uh, an observer status with the United Nations. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think. Uh, you know, we, we have some experiences in organizing. And mm -hmm. I think a month ago, we organized even uh, a, a big uh, workshop for ASEAN member countries on preventive diplomacy. Oh, oh, it's a bit. But how many members, countries? Uh, there of, were, of ASEAN? Uh, there are about, no, uh, not only ASEAN. There are about 27 countries participated in, mm -hmm. in Delhi at uh, that conference. Mm -hmm. But of course, for ASEAN, you have 10 countries. If Timor Leste can be a member of ASEAN, uh, it will be the 11th member of ASEAN. In terms of food? How people, what kind of uh, Portuguese or what? We have, we have um, a, a salad of uh, oh, really? yeah, <laughs> the, the uh, different food cu uh, cuisine in Timor Leste. Oh, really? We have Timorese cuisine, uh -huh. uh, which is very, which is traditional ones. Uh -huh. We have also. We need the sea, so the there's Portuguese. a lot of fish or something. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah. we have Portuguese cuisine. We have uh, ASEAN cuisine, Chinese cuisine, mm -hmm. even Thai cuisine, as I said, mm -hmm. even Japanese cuisine. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So you can find anywhere a very uh, affordable price. Uh -huh. uh, uh, which is, uh, I think, um, uh, will allow Timor Leste even far better than some countries in Asia to host these international uh, meetings when it comes to uh, buying food in the in the, uh, in, the, in the restaurants yeah. and so on. Yeah. So, um, sorry, what was your question? Yeah, no, just uh, talk about the food and all that kind of thing, for right. the tourism thing, so that uh, our the tour company wanted to, to be there. They wanted to gather a group of people to go there, but they didn't. They know that I'm going to interview you, so they asked us to ask me things about you. Uh, you know, the, the, the Heineken company is now Heineken established. Is going to rah, they want to intoxicate your country. Yeah, they established, <laughs> they've established there. They, uh, we have cooperation with, we are now uh, actually um, beginning to explore cooperation with uh, uh, Indonesia and uh, also Japan on um, 
on the maritime, mm. uh, on sort of on the, on the fisheries. Uh, uh, and our fish is the best quality and very cheap. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I think. Um, uh, we will come very much if Thailand could come and join. And, well, yeah, because the yeah. Thailand has, uh, you go to presently get in from the uh, Bangladesh or something, you can, why not? Just come to Timor the Leste, and, and, you know, and, and, and the, the sea between Timor Leste and Australia, which is we go the Timor, Timor, Timor Gap, mm. is, you know, I think it's the biggest of the whole Southeast Asian country. You can wow. go and just uh, fish there oh. uh, and get uh, as much fish, uh, and you can sell it uh, for, for, for very cheap, uh, for cheap prices in, in the Thailand market. Well, I really enjoyed this talk and um, really wish you all the best, huh? For Thank people you. that are taking the yeah. prosperity to be more less there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes, if there are any other program, we thank to His Excellency, Mr. Babo, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation of the Mall Leste. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for watching Thailand today, and we hope you enjoyed the show, and we're looking forward to seeing you again. Swadika.